Well, it's been a pretty dramatic couple of days in the game, sure, but in real life as well. But today we focus on the action ahead as we've got some old scores to settle. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Norwich City bouncing back here on the channel and well we're going to start with the main man Adam Eder. He has now got 15 goals this season in the Premier League with lots and lots of games to play. He has officially overtaken his tally for last season 7.07 average ratings. Well we really are liking that. He has done exceptionally well. He's a club legend as far as I'm concerned and uh, we're lucky to have him. And the January transfer period has, uh, well, has ended. We've emerged unscathed. I sold a few youngsters. Plachetta went out on another loan. That was about it. No signings. Of course, I don't think we really need them at this stage. And that is really shown by the results uh, since last time, which have been overall really quite fantastic. Obviously, we, last time we went through in the FA Cup against Brighton as well as the draw with Everton. We then follow that up with a 2-1 defeat to Liverpool, which, you know, at Anfield, never... Never really can be considered a bad thing, really. They, you know, it was a really good performance, actually. We took the lead through Todd Cantwell. They then fought back and got all three points, but a very close game, of, you know, probably our best performance against Liverpool in the save so far. And that was then backed up as we had our absolute best performance against Man United in the save so far as we beat them 2-1. They took the lead, basically from kickoff through Anthony Martial very soon afterwards, but we battled back in the second half. It was a brilliant display. Adam Eder, Emi Buendia, the two main men of course getting the goals and we ended up taking all three points away from old trafford we've had some well usually when we play united it's a very close game but we usually end up losing this time though we came out on top and that is pretty fantastic and then since then two pretty routine wins in the league brighton was a 4-2 win there of course in the relegation zone i say it was routine i mean we, we were 2-0 up inside 10 minutes through camel and edwards they then equalized right before half time Lewis Dunk scored an absolutely ridiculous volley, which is not what you'd expect from him. So we went into the break at 2-2, but in the second half, our quality told. Eder again, Tarkovsky to make it 4-2. And then far more straightforward was a 2-0 win against Bournemouth. Cantwell and Buendia with the goals in that one. And that has left us in a situation that is very nice indeed. We find ourselves in fifth place, which of course is kind of what we were occupying for most of last season before falling away at the hands of Brighton. But we're there again. 23 matches played, 43 points on the board. Safety is secure once again. And uh, we're, well, we're, certain, we, we're quite a bit far behind Chelsea. They've got a game in hand anyway. So once again, Champions League is sort of out of the question. It's going to take a few years to get up to that kind of level. But Europa League is, well, us currently in pole position, but Spurs have a game in hand. But we're certainly looking like we're going to be qualifying for some form of European competition. And of course, one way to do that is to win the Europa League, which is, well, it's going to be a tall order. We're going to be playing Fiorentina today. That's a game which I'm hopeful we'll be able to get past, but there's lots of other teams in the competition that will cause us some problems, no doubt. But first of all, it's time for some revenge. Burnley at home, they're bottom of the league. You'd expect us to win. We haven't beaten Burnley in the save so far. Sean Dyche, though, of course, as we saw last time, has gone and he's now the England manager so maybe just maybe we've got a chance they have appointed Lee Bowyer as the new manager so well we'll see how well we get on no Deich means surely we have to be considered the favourites for this one but we, we can't afford to be complacent at all and here's the team Nick Pope is going to be in goal Lewis, Tarkovsky, Zimmerman and Aarons is the defence Winks, Chowdhury, Steepham in the midfield Buendia on the right Cantwell's going to start on the left because he has actually been in some pretty good form of late and Adamida of course is obviously going to be up front. Now, Sean Dyche may be gone, but uh, they, they brought back someone else. They brought back an old friend. Kieran Dow has been signed by them in January from, I think it was Mainz we sold him to. So, obviously, he's starting, and obviously, we'll be looking for a goal. But, uh, I mean, you know, he, he was such a loyal player. Hopefully, he'll just, you know, remember the good times and uh, just not, not put in a particularly good performance. As Burnley are the lowest goal scorers in the Premier League, you must consider Norwich favourites to win. I'm not answering that question because that just that seems like tempting fate. Obviously, Dyche is gone. Lee Bowyer, maybe perhaps more attacking. Certainly looks like quite an attacking lineup from him, I suppose, in a way. No, I mean, no, no wingers, but we got a free kick early on. Buendia pumps it into the box, and uh, well, 
we've got some former Burnley players ourselves. James Tarkovsky against his old club, and he's absolutely loving it. No, not even the slightest hint of not celebrating against a club he spent a good portion of his career at. It's a, it's a beautiful ball from Buendia, actually. Completely caught the defence out uh, off guard, and the former Burnley centre-back can't help but score. Oh, well, Burnley have given it away from a short kick out from the back, and Buendia forces a good save from Walton. But, uh, I mean, well, you, you, already we can see that Lebo is trying to change the Burnley philosophy, and there's teething problems. Jamal Lewis trying to go forwards. Josh Knight has just absolutely cleared him out, and he is going to be given a second yellow card. We're 20 minutes in. Jason Knight, sorry, not Josh. I mean, I, I don't need to know his name. He's not on the pitch anymore. Another free kick. Tarkovsky goes close. So, yeah, not really the start that uh, Lebo is probably looking for. And I think this is actually his first game in charge as well, so... I mean, it's not been it's not been a great first half for him. Need to make sure we're being a little bit more clinical, though. Let's let's put this game to bed. Get a you know two three goal lead, and it's not really our way. We only like scoring one goal, and then that's about it, really. Buendia manages to keep that in play, lays it back to Aaron's. Can he put the cross in? Burnley sitting quite deep again. That's that's more the Burnley way. Chowdhury with a pretty wayward ball, which Campwell is able to scoop up, and now can someone put a ball in the box, maybe, or take a shot on anyone? I mean, they, yeah, they're quite deep, but there's so much space around them, which we've just not really used in any way there. I mean, they're playing they're playing in a very, very, very narrow formation there. We you know, we play very quite wide anyway. We might have to go even wide to see if we can exploit it. Cantwell across, Steeperman pulls back into the goal 2-0. I, mean, I guess the idea is to just sort of, you know, pack the centre of the pitch, but, I mean, when we play so wide anyway... I don't really see how that's going to help. And it's a lovely Rabone across from Cantwell. And Steeperman makes it too. Burnley just, I mean, to try the ball forwards. It's been given away to Aaron's. So he's found Cantwell. And, I mean, you, I, don't, I don't want to say you fear for them. Because, you know, they, they could come out strong in the second half. But if we get a third before the break, then I'd say it's probably over. It's cleared away. McNeil, well, he, he got there. But Winks is easily able to stop him. Aaron's. The space we've got out wide is looking pretty good. It's gone inside to Chowdhury and he's not far wide. Second half, let's keep the pressure up and get a few more goals. Well, I mean, the goal difference could be pretty decisive. We also need to make sure we don't do anything stupid. We do have a tendency to do stupid things. A 10-man Burnley who've not had a shot on, well, a shot at all in the first half. That's that's a recipe for stupidity. Um, that was quite stupid as well, though, from Burnley. Alameda completely just bundled over i mean i don't even i want to see a replay of the foul again to be honest we're seeing seeing the var i mean the way right, the penalty's been awarded i would have been surprised if it hadn't been adam just literally completely felled in the box when he was in on goal well certainly a chance to score and uh, well that's a chance to score as well three nil from the spot 18 now for the season overall for adam uh, burning now opting for some form of damage limitation with their formation and um I think definitely a chance for us to take off some key men. Steeperman, Buendia, certainly Ida, players like that. There's no sense of them getting any sort of injury. If we can be four here, it's bouncing around. Still can't get there. I mean, Chowdhury was potentially fouled there, but I don't think so. Chris Wood has it all to do, and he, he can't do it. All right, triple change made. Adam Armstrong taking the free kick, and he's, he's not far away. Walton pushes it away. He's got another one. Can he, can he get this one on target? It's, again, very similar to the first one. Can we get a fourth? It's been it's been rare we've scored more than one goal all season. So the fact we've got three anyway is pretty remarkable. We're not we're not particularly uh, particularly uh, clinical. I mean, no, not not clinical, but just sort of I don't know. We we score one goal. That's our lot really. So any more than that is really good. A Chowdhury with another fantastic effort. It's a brilliant save from Walton. He has kept this respectable today, and that is going to be that. And I mean, but the fourth time of asking, we've managed to beat Burnley in the save three 0 win job absolutely done oh brilliant remember a few episodes ago when we said we'd sold tim krill to lafc well it's it's been cancelled because they can't have more than three designated players in the squad maybe you should have thought about that before you you know agreed to sign him i mean that's 3.7 million down the drain brilliant stuff he's never we're never gonna get a bit of that high again but now we've got the Europa League first knockout round against Fiorentina. Now this one is only one leg the second round is also only one leg but then everything after that goes to, to two legs so we've got a good opportunity of at least getting through a couple of rounds here Fiorentina at home that's I mean that's definitely winnable 
Same team as last time for us, and they've got some familiar names in their lineup. Andreas Christensen, Alfonso Ariola, they've got they've got Riyad Mahrez in the wide areas, Andre Horta as well. I mean, yep, some some decent players. This ain't gonna be straightforward. But at Carroll Road, you would back us to get to get a win in this one, at least get through to the next round. Corner early on, Buendia puts it in, it's cleared, but it's straight back to him, and he's got another go, cuts inside a little bit. Chowdhury on the edge of the area. Needs a little bit of support. I mean, Zimmerman's not who I'd really want, to be honest, to be go back and defend. He's still there. He's still, finally, he's trying to vaguely jog back to a defensive position. I mean, go go back. Buendia cross in. Steeperman it's, it's in, and it's Todd Cantwell with the eventual goal. I mean, they look like it came off Steeperman. It must have fallen to Todd. Let's have a look at this. Good work from Aaron's. I mean, Zimmerman is slowly jogging back to defend. Buendia this time goes wider, Whips it in from closer to the touchline. And yeah, it comes off Steve and Cantwell slots it home. He's in, he's improved a lot of late. Patient build up here as we look to grab a second. Cantwell, a little bit of pressure on him. They're trying to press a little bit maybe. And we, well, there's a mistake on here, surely. But no, we work it quite nicely. Ed is in behind and he gets his customary goal. 19 for the season for Adam now. 2 0. We're looking very, well, it's a very good start. This was very patient, but some lovely passing. I mean, the, the, the shorter passing finally seems to be taking effect, and that is the devastating result. Perfect run, fantastic finish from you know who. Playing this one out for the back, shorter passing in effect again. I mean, Adam, then he goes long when it actually makes sense, when it's not going to give the ball away. Buendia has, though, immediately given the ball away, which, I mean, great. And we're trying to immediately recover possession, but not looking likely. Ball forwards, though, is well read by Tarkovsky. Winks finds Buendia once again. We've got plenty of options available. Left-hand side is looking very unmarked at the moment. If we can look up a bit, Aaron's ball in, knocked away by Christensen. Chowdhury, though, finds Steeperman. It's a save. He's got a bit of a knock. I'm not really sure why, but I think we probably should take him off. He's got pulled wrist ligaments. I mean, ugh, I'm not I'm not going to risk him at all because he's quite injury brain. so Vieira's going to come on. Buendia, free kick from deep, looking for anybody. He's nearly gone all the way in, hits the post. Half time, we're in control, and much like against Burnley, we've seen very little from Fiorentina. But I mean, they're you know they're they're doing quite well in Serie A, so we you know we cannot afford to be complacent. We really, really can't. As there's a highlight already, that Mares knocks it down, and Lahovic nearly scores. That is all that's happened though in, until now. The throw in from Lewis, of course. I mean, Steeperman, he's not on throw duty anymore. He's not on the pitch. That's obviously a risk, but we. Do still have possession at the moment. Tarkovsky puts in uh, Cantwell in behind. If he can look up, there's players in the box. And that's one of them. He, he's he's just so deadly, isn't he? He's not getting a hat trick. I'm taking him off now because I can't afford to risk him whatsoever. And, well, we're 3-0 up. So I think we can afford to do it. Great work from Todd. And then he's just, he's just in the right place again. Still time to throw it away, though, isn't there? There's always time to throw it away. Vlahovic hits the crossbar. And there we go, two 3-0 wins in a row. That's that's what we like to see. We've beaten Burnley, which we haven't done. We've got further in Europe, in terms of at least time, than we've ever done as a club. The club's most recent European campaign back in the early 90s, of course, that famous win against Bayern Munich, but it was a defeat in the third round of the old UEFA Cup to Inter Milan. So we've got through the group stage, we've got through the first knockout round. I mean, I think we I think we got further, really, in you know, all things considered, than they did back then. Steepman injured, but only for one to three days. That is fine. This man just, I mean, you know, you, I just, I, what, what do we say? What do we say? Sean Dyche is apparently watching. He's he's watching Nick Pope, Max Aarons, and Harry Winks. Well, if he wants to call up more of our players, then I'm fine with that. Any major casualties? I mean, Aberdeen have managed to go through against Anderlecht. That's pretty impressive. Valencia are out. Zebra, unfortunately, are through. Lazio through, but they were playing Benfica anyway. By Leverkusen out. Celtic have made it through, which is, I mean, that's quite impressive. But the second round draw, of course, will introduce all of the teams who won their groups. So going to be some more difficult options here. So here's all the teams still left in Zebra. Roma, of course, who we had in the group stage. Besiktas, Celtic and Rangers and Aberdeen. That's quite impressive, actually, from the SBL teams. AZ Alkmaar, Brighton, of course, there as well. Lazio, Sporting, Sevilla, Feyenoord, Lille, PSV and us. There's no one there that's truly terrifying apart from, I guess, Zebra. So we're going to be against Zebra, aren't we? 
Remember, this one is only one leg, so we want to be at home. If we can be, we're immediately not at home. But Feyenoord is, I think, quite reasonable. We'll draw the rest of the teams. Away from home, okay, but Feyenoord, yeah, I think I think we're quite happy with that one. Sevilla against against Zebra Juventus, of course, that is huge. Um, well, perennial Europa League winners Sevilla against the best team left in the competition, so that could be interesting. And uh, yeah, not far away at all. It's going to be the start of March, and we have a choice between either losing to Chelsea or losing to Liverpool. I know I said in yesterday's episode I didn't want to film the Chelsea game because of everything that always happens whenever we play them, but that is the most sort of consequential one. I mean, Liverpool, they're the Premier League leaders. We're not in contention for the Premier League, but then that is a little bit further in. I don't know. I mean, imagine if we do beat Chelsea. I want to capture that on film, so it's probably going to be that, isn't it? It's probably going to be a cup double. Next time out, we are getting towards the business end of the season, and we're, you know, we're still in contention for a couple of things. Obviously not the Premier League. We're not going to win that, but we're in for a good finish. And if we can do well in both these cup competitions, that's going to be very nice indeed. But that is going to be where we end things off today. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe as well so you don't miss what happens next time. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you then.